Today I listed my EK for sale on Facebook Marketplace randomly for $4,000 OBO, okay? Listed it way higher than I was anticipating. Anyone making me an offer anywhere close to that. Literally just got a message just now. Will you take 3,500? It's 120 in the morning. The guy said he wouldn't be ready until uh, Thursday or Friday, so like two or three days from now, and I think he's gonna bail. Kearney says otherwise. We are making a bet. What? What is it? No, what's the bet? If he bails, I get to slap you across the face with whipped cream. Oh, I was gonna be like, you have to take me out for dinner. No. If he bails, I get to slap you across the face with whipped cream. If he yeah. doesn't bail, what do you get to do to me? If I win. If you win the bet. You're just lame, so I feel like mine has to be like put peanut butter all over your hair. All over my hair? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Obviously, I'm trying to sell the EK at this point in time. It, it's kind of weird timing because I just ordered these parts for the car and I, it's just such an impulse decision on my end like to sell the car. I just like, I, I'll explain myself later in the video. Anyway, today we have some new parts for the EK. We have a Type R style front grille. And we have a Type R style front lip. These two parts in combination are one of my favorite variations of EK body modifications. I absolutely love this setup and it's gonna be cool to see what the car looks like with it on. Uh, Kearney's coming over right now. She should be here in about 15 minutes and we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, make the EK look cool today. If you guys like this video by the end, please click that subscribe button and also that thumbs up and get hyped for EG videos after this because I won't have another car to work on once this thing sells. But do you know what else I really hope sells? My first sponsorship deal. Big thank you to New Air for sponsoring this episode. By supplying me with their 20 inch outdoor rated two in one high velocity floor or wall mounted fan. Now it might sound super weird that I'm getting excited about being sponsored by being given a fan, but if you guys know me, which I know you do, I work outside a lot and in Chicago in the summer, it gets extremely hot and it rains randomly. Now my favorite thing about this fan is that the motor is IPX4 water resistant and outdoor rated to withstand wet outdoor conditions. Also, it's powder coated steel design will prevent me from scratching it when I'm working with tools around it. The motor is also dual ball bearing, which makes it last a lot longer than other fans. And it has three adjustable speeds that can flow up to 4,650 CFMs. No, I am your father. Thank you to New Air for supplying an affiliate link and a code that you can find in the description below. If you guys click that link and use my code, it supports my channel. So thank you to you guys and thank you to New Air. Cranny, 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 cranny. Oh no. I test fitted the lip. Oh, you already did it? I just like put it on and it looks cool. Here's the grill. Oh, dang, that's nice. Decent, right? Yeah. Okay, decent. And here's the lip. Wow. Yeah, wow. You look good. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Follow you. Yeah. Follow me around. You like my you like my paparazzi, girl. All right, yo. I think that this is super easy. Like, I think we literally just pop these flips up. Yeah, the grill should just slide out if the if the design is how this is. Like, there's these tabs, right? And I think that those tabs just push in and then the clips go through. All right, so you can use one of these, I'll use one. Your driver down in there like that, it pops up, and then you get the screwdriver underneath the whole thing, and you just pop up the whole clip. The way this clip works is like you have this tab in the middle, and like it, it allows the clip to compress when it's popped out, but when you push this in, it stops it from compressing. Where can we put these in like a really irresponsible place? Probably right there. Here you go. You can just pull up on it a little bit, and then just get your screwdriver. Nice. Perfect. Sweet. Oh no, Kearney. Oh no. Did not find it. I've... Oh shit, I dropped one too. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna come off so easy. We had some technical difficulties. Couldn't figure out how the grill came off the bumper. So we decided that it would be best to remove the bumper. Okay, so there's some screws down here. Phillips heads. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six screws it looks like. And then this thing should come off. There you go. And the grill is free. That was pretty easy. That's all. See now it's nice and snug. I should be able to just push this thing up on there and put in the put in the clips. Will you grab me one, Kern? And there we go. If you guys at home have Civics and you want to do some cool first mod, even if you have like an EG or something, a front lip is super easy. And I guess a grill. We'll see how this looks. I don't know if I like the glossy black yet. I'm gonna have to see it with the hood closed and with the lip on. Right now it kind of looks like a like a nose, like a dog nose. See? It's like a big black dog nose. Guys, look what I can do with my fan. You know, you guys you guys might think it, you guys might think it, but this right here is actually my biggest fan. 
I don't have a single fan bigger than this. Like I said, now that the grill's on, it kind of looks like it has a, a big black nose, like a doggy, like this boy. What's up, boy? So we're gonna go ahead and put this lip on. It's super easy. I've done this with the EG, and the way that we're gonna do this, it's a very snug fit, so we're gonna hook it around one side of the bumper. It should just hook on. You can see right there in the corner of the lip. And then we'll run it across and hook the other side on. And that is already snug. It's gonna be very tight fit. All we're gonna do after that, we're just gonna put two self tappers through the back of this and into here, and that will hold it on, on both sides. Okay. Do as much slack as I can. Okay, done. Sweet. All right, now all we have to do is I have these self-tapping screws in my pocket. You gotta just push pretty hard. Slow. A little more. Stop. You're done. That was so, that was quick. Wasn't that it was easy? Be an hour. Wasn't that easy? It was like 10 minutes. Dude, I'm sorry, you gotta close it kind of hard. Nope. Well, there it is. There it is. Type R front end. I don't know, what do you think? I like it. Yeah, I think it's just taking a second for my eyes to get used to it. I don't. I think I don't like how glossy the grill is. Like the lip yeah, looks really I good. That. I think the lip looks really nice, but I think the grill is a little bit too glossy for the car. All right, now here's the thing. This was going to look really good before I decided to sell the car. Like I said in a previous video, I was gonna get this grill, the lip, I was gonna have the bumper uh, fixed and repainted. And I also, I do have this part. I have a new fender for this car. Fix the big dent over here. I was that's, gonna have that repainted as well. That's only if the car sells. That's only if the car sells. So that's where this bet's gonna come in. So I have until the end of the week to sell this car. I just wanted to throw this stuff on to see how it looked. I think it looks really cool, but like I said, this looks this looks too damn glossy. Huh? You wanna Let's drive it? You wanna yeah. take it for a drive? You gonna drive or am I driving? You can drive it. Alright, I'm driving. I look like a cool dude. Should we go to the car wash? Yeah. Now it's gonna rain. Alright, yeah, no. Let's just drive it then. Just drive it. We can test out the speakers. Mm -hmm. In the previous video, I put in new speakers in this car and I had a rattle in the rear and it was driving me nuts. And I finally fixed it like yesterday. So I haven't gotten to drive it yet since I did that. So we're gonna go for a little cruise, listen to, listen to some tunes and uh, just vibe with the car. Guys, I feel so much cooler. Like confidence level is like through the roof right now. Watch this, watch this. Downshift. Guys, a BMW just pulled up next to me in a light, and he tried to race me. It, it won. It won by a lot. But I still feel like a man, because I have a front lip and a new front grill. Let's go! Oh, you're laughing? You think this is funny? You think this is funny? You think I'm kidding? You think I'm kidding, Kearney? <laughs> you think you're so cool in your little Civic. Do you want... Do, Kearney, Kearney, this is the ultimate... This this car is so nimble. Dude, a, a, a type R, dude. It's a type R now. Look, downshift. Look, I gotta hit the apex. Dude, I have front grill. Dude, I'm lower now. I, I have downforce. Oh, dude, totally hit the apex. But I don't care, because I have front lip. Oh! <laughs> so like, so like I, don't, I don't hate this car. I, I don't dislike this car. Uh, this car served its purpose very, very well. It did exactly what it needed to. You know, I sold the Beamer. I was putting a lot of money into the, e, into the EG, and I didn't have a lot of cash lying around to buy a daily something to drive around. Uh, this car worked perfect. It was, it was cheap car. It's an EK, very cool, like Japanese legend, whatever. It's just a DX, obviously, just a trim level DX. Got me to Florida and back, like great car, but I just don't love it. And like, you know, I drive it every day and like it, it's it's fun, whatever, it's very slow, um, it's very reliable, it's done its job, like I said, very well, but I just don't, I don't love it. And like, if I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna put a ton of money into a car on YouTube, I wanna make sure that it's a car that I absolutely love because otherwise I'm wasting my money, I'm wasting my time, and I'm wasting your time because I'm not giving you passionate content like I usually do. And for the past couple of months, I just have felt kind of unmotivated with YouTube, and I, I don't know why. Uh, it's probably because the EG is moving at a snail's pace, and I don't really love this car that much. So with that said, I listed this car on Facebook Marketplace for $4,000 OBO, and I put in there, like, I'm not in a hurry to sell. Like, obviously that price is pretty high, um, but if the right person comes along that really wants it, wants to make me that offer, and basically what I'm saying is that is the price that someone would have to pay to take this car off my hands right now. So 4,000 is pretty high. I, I don't think that it'll sell at that price. I'm like pretty skeptical about it. Kearney here, Kearney here thinks that it's gonna sell mm -hmm. uh, by the end of the week. So, uh... Peanut butter on the hay, -o.
I sanded down the front grill and I matte clear coated it. But I think that looks a lot better. Dude, like that's not bad right there. I gotta tell you that, that's not bad. No, I don't wanna do it. I didn't think this through until it's on your hand. Don't get it in my hair, that's all I'm asking. I, get... no. <laughs> right. I hate this, go. Watch, you're gonna Don't win. hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop hurting. Here we go. Yes, okay, watch it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Is it on right now? <laughs> Tish just farted. That was me. 